Hello, my name is Jimmy Vegas, and welcome to this, the seventh in a series of video tutorials on how to make a Super Mario game in Unity 5. So last episode, uh, we created a pipe, and we created a script and animation which allowed our character to descend into the pipe. Now, although we did have a few problems with our character, Ethan, um, it's just being a, a bit awkward to play around with, it's still entirely possible to do everything we need to do at the moment so we may skip trying to get him working correctly just for now at least for this tutorial uh, so what I want to quickly say is before we go any further um, down here I have quickly built up this area a little more because I don't want to waste any more time just randomly placing blocks together so this episode what we'll be doing is continuing the script that we've built which will allow us to go down, and then once we get to a certain point, we teleport or drop into this area just here. Um, we'll be doing that using um, a second camera and a quick script, which allows us to switch the cameras on and off. So firstly, what we need to do is we need to set ourselves another camera. We've got this main camera, and that's the one which follows Ethan on this top level. Um, I do want to quickly point out as well, uh, just here you can see the backdrop of the underworld below. Don't worry about that, that can easily be sorted at a later date anyway, because we can just extend this platform. So, uh, game object up here, and camera. Now what we need to do is we need to position this camera in a nice place where we can actually see our underworld. So if you select your double arrow tool here and pull the camera down and outwards. Um, so hopefully if I just pull it outwards a little bit, uh, I think I want to rotate on the X axis by 10 degrees. Is that what we've got our main camera set as? Let's check, uh, 15 degrees. So I'm gonna set this camera as 15 degrees on the X axis. And I'm going to move it along, um, zoom in a touch, let's bring it in, um, okay, down a little bit. Okay, so I think that looks okay. So I'm going to quickly oops, disable the main camera by clicking this little checkbox here. So make sure you have the main camera uh, selected. And over here, just untick that, press play. And yep, that looks fine for now. So what will happen is our character will drop into this underworld just down here when we write the script. So I'm going to re-enable that camera. And I'm going to disable this camera. Let's right click, uh, rename, and let's call it something that we can remember quite well. Let's call it first pipe camera press enter and now we have that saved so we need to um, <clears throat> excuse me we need to modify our pipe 001 entry script so if we double click in the scripts folder on pipe 001 entry it will uh, open up in mono develop as usual for me or Visual Studio for yourselves, if that's what you're using. So we don't need to modify too much of uh, this script. What we do need to do is we need to add in a, um, a couple of uh, variables. I think we'll need uh, two. So we'll need a variable for the main camera and then a variable for the um, second camera, which is the pipe camera we've just named. So up here at the very top, um, I'm going to leave a little gap there, var, and let's call this, <coughs> excuse me, uh, main cam, and that will be a, a game object, and then remember a semicolon at the end, and as always remember, case sensitive. The second variable will be the second camera that we've made, so I'm going to call this var, and I I think I'm going to call it second cam, although I may rename it at a later point. We'll just see what happens. Uh, and that will also be a game 
object <coughs> with a semicolon at the end. So the part that we'll need uh, to modify is this function here called waiting for pi. So if you remember, what happens um, when it runs is on uh, the function update, it transforms the position of the imaginary object which the script is attached to, to a position we'll never use, and then calls upon the waiting for pipe function. So the waiting for pipe starts with um, starting up the animation, it waits for two seconds, and then it stops the animation. And at the moment, as we've seen already, uh, when Ethan goes onto the pipe, Oops, he's not got on that there. And we press down. That is exactly what happens for two seconds. He and then he suddenly stops. So we need to write a script after this bit, which enables us to continue onwards. So underneath, what we need to do is we need to firstly um, enable the um, second camera. So we can quite easily do that by doing second cam dot set active and that is uh, capital S capital A on set active open bracket true close bracket semicolon and at that point the exact same point we need to disable the main camera so that will be main cam dot set active and in brackets false and then semicolon. So logically, when we uh, come out of the pipe at the other end, these two will be switched, but we'll get to that as we come out of the pipe anyway. Uh, the next line we need to write is uh, similar to when we transform the position up here and we move the imaginary object off screen. We actually need to move um, the player to a point directly below us and in fact we actually need to set that as a second a third variable so we will do var and we'll call this simply main player that will also be game object with a semicolon so what we'll do now is we will put um, main player dot um, transform dot position and make it equal to vector three oops sorry vector three open bracket and for now I'm just going to put zero comma zero comma zero let's put some um, spaces just between that there and close bracket and semicolon now the reason I've done that is because we need to actually find the coordinates we need to send our player to. <coughs> Excuse me. So quickly save that script and head back into Unity. It's just having a quick think. So we need our player to come to the position just here. Now one way we can quickly get the coordinates is if I take this block here and if I duplicate it and set it to a place. Oops that we want our player to start at, which is, I would say, there. So we need to remember the position 11, minus 17, and 0 0.5. So if we take them coordinates, 11, minus 17, and 0 0.5. I'm going to go ahead and delete that object just there. So hopefully, this will take our player to this position here, where he will appear as though he's falling down the pipe and into this area just below. Um, yeah, that's fine. So I'm just going to save that, if I haven't saved it already. Head back into Unity. And what we need to do now is we need to select the um, pipe just here, where the script is attached to, and I think, oh, I can't remember the actual name of the uh, 
imaginary object, was it that one? Yes. So it's pipe 001 entry script. Oh, okay, what's going on here? Okay, so we have an error there. Let's have a quick look what the error is. Oh, just there, I, I've put a semicolon rather than an actual colon there when I've stated my variable. So that's the reason why we have the error. So let's quickly fix that. And hopefully when this updates, we should have some more variables to play with. And we do. So we have main camera, second camera, main player right here. So firstly, let's set main camera onto that one. Let's set first pipe camera onto the second cam. And then finally, third person controller as the main player. So before we go any further, just double check that you do have first pipe camera deactivated up here. So that should be unchecked. And the main camera should be checked. So when we press play, we should hopefully be able to jump onto our pipe. Oops, try and get in the right position. Press down. And then there we go. Straight into our... Um, area below. So one thing you'll notice from um, this particular sequence of events is there's no sound to it and we don't really have a fade screen. So I think in the next episode that could be something we can look into. But there is also something which we have which is kind of quite pressing now. We need to make some invisible walls to stop Ethan walking off that way. And it's pretty simple to do. Uh, best way to do it, and easiest way to do it, I've found, is to create a 3D object. Cube. Uh, zero out the position. Zero, zero, zero. Um, scale on the, uh, what is it, the Z is or Z axis, 0 0.5. And I'm just going to pull this out to minus 0 0.25 there. I'm going to change the scale on the X. Uh, let's set this as fairly small for now, as 20, and on the Y as, um, what should we set the Y as? Let's set that as 10. So I'm just going to move this along to about there. And yes, it looks like it's covering everything up, but if you right click, rename, let's call this outside barrier zero one. I'm going to control D to duplicate, pull it inwards, uh, right click, rename and call this inside barrier zero one. And now untick mesh renderer on both. So now when we press play, it looks as though nothing is actually there. However, it completely stops our player coming off the edge, which makes things much easier. So it gives us a little bit of 3D environment to play around on, but as I say, it stops Ethan coming off at any point. The only way he can go off is if it falls off the edge just here. So once again, run our pipe, let's press down, head into our pipe, and then there we are straight below. So what I'd like to do in the next episode is when we um, go into our pipe, I would like some sound and I would like a fade screen. So as it just kind of integrates it a little better. So next episode, we'll be looking at doing that. And we'll also be looking at um, maybe creating some coins down here to collect so some spinning coins. And later on, um, doing the opposite of what this pipe is doing, having a pipe down here, which will take us back up and swap the cameras around again. So uh, we'll leave that episode there. Um, it's a nice simple modification on our script. Um, what I'll do is I will put this script, in fact what I'll do is I'll put um, these extra lines of code on the website. So if you have problems writing these few extra lines just head over to the website and download those few extra lines. So uh, until next episode, thank you very much for watching.